Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm bringing some amazing updates. First, I'll be showcasing a custom version of Shad PS4 that elevates Bloodborne to new visual heights. I'll also be sharing solutions to run shadow generations on any Yuzu fork smoothly, making the game fully playable. Then, we'll take a look at Zelda Echoes of Wisdom running on Android without audio issues or blurry gameplay in the dungeons. Lastly, GOG has just launched a program dedicated to preserving classic games. Starting with Shad PS4, for those who haven't been following the development of this project, it now allows stable gameplay across various 2D and 3D games. The background footage you're seeing is from the gameplay I captured. Most games tested are 2D because I'm short on disk space, but you can already see that many titles are well rendered, with minimal graphic issues. Now, about the custom build of Shad PS4, this version promises even greater visual fidelity for Bloodborne, featuring volumetric fog and smoke, improved lighting, more realistic particles, and enhanced scenery. I did a side-by-side -side comparison for you to see, and even without additional character texture optimizations, the difference is noticeable. This custom version, recommended only for Bloodborne, should be installed in a new folder. The graphical quality is significantly improved, although it impacts the FPS a bit, as the game was designed to run at 30 FPS. There are, however, mods in Shad PS4 to unlock this cap. In terms of stability, I played for about half an hour without crashes, though some minor graphic issues appear over time. Before we continue with the Switch games, if you're finding this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more updates. Moving on to the Switch, let's start with Shadow Generations. As I showed in a previous comparison video, link in the card, this game used to experience random crashes on various Yuzu forks, sometimes right at the start or during gameplay. But after following a tip from user Omar Hegeb and setting the CPU configuration to accurate mode, the crashes stopped. I was able to play 5 stages in a row without interruptions. For those of you who have been waiting to play, now's the time. I'll leave my complete settings and the mod list in the description, along with a link to Citroen, which has also solved other performance issues. Another game that is now playable on Android is Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Previously, this game had an excessive blur effect in some dungeons and a darkened image, caused by the emulator's lack of compatibility with certain visual effects. To fix this, simply install the mod I'll link in the description. This mod removes the blur and doof effects, improving the game's aesthetics and eliminating the blur issues in dungeons. Currently, the best projects for running this game are Citroen and Torzu. However, since Torza hasn't received recent updates for Android, I recommend Citroen. To use the cheat, you'll need version 1.0.1 or 1.0.2 of the game, which enables correct rendering when entering dungeons. Additionally, the Citroen team has fixed the audio issue in the rifts, which now works normally on Android. Gameplay isn't perfect yet, as the rift's visual effect isn't fully accurate, but this is likely to be resolved soon. I'll leave the link to the mod for Android in the description so you can install it on your favorite emulators and enjoy the enhancement. Another update on Citroen. I spoke with the developer, and he has released a new build for testing that's already quite stable. This pre-release is available for Windows, Android, and Linux, though the Linux version may still have some issues. Access to the project's Discord is controlled through a gradual security system to prevent fake accounts but I'll include the invite link in the description. When you test it, come back and share what you think of the project. Finally, after Sega's announcement about removing over 70 classic Mega Drive games from digital platforms like Steam, PSN, and Epic, GOG, the DRM-free gaming platform, launched a preservation program for more than 100 classic games. This project will allow older games to be played on modern systems with enhancements like high-resolution support and compatibility with current controllers. Among the preserved games are titles that are hard to run on modern OSs, like Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, titles from the Fallout franchise, and the classic Diablo, which is no longer available on Blizzard. The initiative also revives games removed from other platforms, such as Alpha Protocol, Sega's stealth action title. Soon, another classic will be added, Croc, Legend of the Gobos. Although it's emulable on Duck Station, the game originally runs at only 20 FPS, and enabling cheats can cause issues, so it will be great to have a high-resolution, widescreen PC version. In my opinion, the only downside, considering local currency, is the price of the games. But what do you all think of GOG's initiative? 
let me know in the comments below. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.